My name is Derek White. I'm a chaplain with the 102nd Intelligence Wing at Otis Air National Guard Base. As a military chaplain, we provide religious accommodation to all faith groups, whether they're Jewish, Muslim, Sikh, Hindu, Wiccan. We have transgendered individuals. We have folks that are LGBT. The role of the chaplain corps is to provide religious accommodation to all members of the military. Being a chaplain is listening to people, being hands-on with where they are in their life situations, counseling, ethical decision-making, when we can understand one another better, it helps to resolve uh, and diffuse conflict. I thought for sure I was going to be a, a pilot in the military, senior year of high school. I just kind of had this awakening moment where God was grabbing me and going, I have a plan for your life. I'm calling you to ministry. It was a calling to go to seminary. It was not my original plan. I chose CTS because I felt that I need to be able to engage with people that think differently than me and come from different backgrounds. If I'm going to minister to the most amount of people, I really need to be able to understand multiple points of view. The online program and the chaplain program are wonderful ways for people to be able to complete seminary education. The stressors that folks deal with in the military, it's something that folks outside the military can't really understand. Spiritual resiliency is that ability to be able to connect with something beyond the human level, to find that strength to go through things that seem humanly impossible. So when you go through something as difficult as folks face in the military, having that spiritual connection, it really helps you to be able to do some incredible things that most people would say, there's no way I could do that. A member of my congregation, he was on one of the ships that was at Pearl Harbor, and he just starts crying and pouring his eyes out. And he goes, I can still see them burning as they're jumping off the ship. And his wife turns to me and says, we've been married for 50 years and he's never been able to tell me that part. He needed to cry that out. That's something that I look at as being a military chaplain, being honored to be able to have those stories shared with me.